Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video, I have the full guaranteed guide to get you all the classified schematics in the game, beginner or expert, it doesn't matter. This guide is gonna get you guys all the schematics. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, fellas, enjoy. Thanks to Damn Mods for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome Call of Duty service company. They go in, unlock all the camos for you, all the zombie schematics. They have a ton of pre-made accounts. They also give you the opportunity to go into bot lobbies to unlock a ton of stuff yourself. They have a ton of services for all types of games out there. Their Trustpilot reviews are awesome. Every single one of them is a great review, and I can tell you guys what, this is probably the best company out there for services. Make sure you guys use code SPAZO to save money off. All right, so we are in game. Now, the main goal of this video is to be to get whether a majority of the classified schematics or possibly all of them. Now, as we know, the new Dark Ether is not guaranteed on your first run. It's RNG. So I'm not going to constantly play that until we get all the schematics. I'm going to kind of run you guys through a guide that you can do every single game in there and in the old Dark Ether to make sure you guys can get all of them. So spawning in you guys really need to take advantage of the flamethrower aftermarket underbarrel it is the strongest thing in the game right now you're going to be able to do literally anything you want to do with this thing um zombies wise you know and boss wise red worm no right now when you're in your game you can put this at epic rarity triple pack it or you can do legendary triple pack i brought in a legendary ether tool just because i simply had it i brought in an elder sigil golden armor plates and ether blade case but that's beyond the point you don't need those at all i'm probably barely gonna use my ether blade <laughs> I, I probably will now I do have a high containment level, so what we're going to do is we are going to do a contract, probably a few contracts actually, to go ahead and get this thing triple packed. And then our next step after we get this triple packed is we're going to want to buy a few Kazmiers and a jug suit. So in total, mm, you're probably going to want to have roughly around 25,000 in equipment after you pack so jug is 10,000 essence three casimirs is 15 so that's going to put you at about 25 but you don't need to buy three you can just buy two if you want and then use the dark ether glitch to give you an extra one which i will show you whenever we go spawn in so we're going to make our way to the tier three zone and i'll see you guys when we get there So when you get to the tier three zone, it really doesn't matter what type of contract you want to do, whatever one you're most comfortable with, whether it's a bounty, a outlast, cargo, escort, spore, whatever you're comfortable with, you can do. There's no set contract that you have to do in this game. All you want to do is just continue doing them until you have a decent amount of essence. Now, if somehow RNG is on your side and you get all the stuff you need, then you don't need to do many contracts. Okay. Um, plain and simple just like that you know so we're gonna do this outlast contract it is right up here where this pnd is uh, this should be easy after this we should be able to triple pack because we do have max containment so we got to start out with 5k which is such a great thing to have i recommend just grinding all your operators if you can um to that 100 mark which can be done pretty quick i've had games where i went from zero to 101 game it's hard and because a lot of people are in the zone right now but if you do get lucky with the game that not anybody goes to it you can definitely get it done and it is possible but that being said we got to hurry up and try and do this already at 30 percent oh my gosh for a minute i was like why the heck am i stuck and then i realized there's zombies beating the heck out of me right there I'm going to use our flamethrower a little bit. Why not? We need to get these extra points so we can pack when we're done with this. Make sure you check if you kill bosses. They will drop Kazmiers and stuff. Uh, definitely don't forget them. Even if you have eight Kazmiers, take them in. The more the better. You know, you don't want to run out. Especially if you're not that comfortable doing the new contracts. Or not necessarily the new contracts, but the contracts in the Dark Ether. You're going to want them. Okay. Some zombies over there. 
Now, I do recommend if you've never been in the old Dark Ether, I recommend going to the new one first. Now, I'll explain a little bit more why later on. There's a Casimir right there. Let's hop this window real quick. Try and grab this thing. Actually, let's just finish this contract real quick. And then we will. There we go. We finished it. All right. Give me that Casimir. I already spawned in with one because I X-filled with one last game. Uh, Self-revive. Another self-revive. Mortar strike. Jug. We'll take it. Perks are important, but I wouldn't say they're crazy important. Um, I'd rather recommend you get your guns packed and then start worrying a little bit about perks. You don't need every perk in the game to survive and, you know, do everything you need to do. So you don't necessarily got to focus just on perks. So we actually need 12k. We only have 10. There's a lot of people in this zone. I'm debating if we should scavenge for some points or if we should just go do another contract what's in here speed cola will take it some extra essence we just need a little bit more essence hopefully we can get lucky and find some we need 700 more which ain't necessarily too too hard to get okay we just got to kill a crap ton of zombies and loot these registers Hopefully get a decent amount from the registers. We need 400 more. Okay, we can go loot this building down here maybe for some essence. Oh, Mimic. You're dead. Here's a register. Two, three. We are very, very close to being able to triple pack. We just need like two zombie kills. That is all we need right now. But the question is, can we find the two zombies that is needed or not? I don't know. I'm kind of starting to think we can't, which is not the best thing. <laughs> but who knows? Here we go. All right. We need five essence, bro. There we go. Let's go triple pack. There's a bounty right there. Now, keep in mind, you can join teams to do contracts easier. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want to do whenever you're playing. Do I not have enough? 15,000? Oh, it's glitched. Yeah, it's glitched. I'm max containment, but the game will glitch like that. Which is super unfortunate. No wonder I didn't get close to 12k on that contract. Okay, we're going to start doing some other contracts right now. There's another bounty right here. See, right now we only need two Casimirs, so you really don't need... Uh, what's it called? You really don't need three. It'll be useful, you know, if you can get to three... But you definitely don't need it. This guy's running to this bounty. I'm going to see if I can join him. Send him an invite. I believe I did. There we go. But do you want to join up? Oh, nice. They got a bounty contract going. Okay. They have a big team as well. I don't know what the bounty is. Looks probably like a mangler. More than likely, it's a mangler. Usually, this is where a mangler or a disciple spawns. There we go. Uh, we don't need any of that. We can start rushing over and grabbing this other bounty right here. The quicker, the better. You know, if you can do as many contracts as you need in five minutes, then you only need to be in Urzik stand for five minutes. You don't need to be in here crazy amount of time. I'm going to loot this crate real quick. There we go. Another self revive. It's a mimic. We can start pushing over there. 200 meters. We have enough fuel to use. Okay. We got some fellas up here. Some interesting fellas. Yeah, we got a new squad mate. Nice. I have a six man right now. We're making our way over to this mimic. He's going to go down like a sack of potatoes. I can guarantee it. And there he is. Come on, mimic. Go down, buddy. There we go. Uh, death perception, medium rock sack, brain rot ammo mod. We don't need that. I actually need to go triple pack. 
We have 23k, okay. Oh, they're doing an escort contract. Interesting. Alright, we're going to make our way over to Pack-A-Punch right now. And then we're going to go to a buy station and buy a Jug Streak. Uh, we don't necessarily have enough yet, but if they complete this contract, then we will. Which is the reason why I'm going to Triple Pack right now. Okay. 200 meters, basically, till Pack-A-Punch. I wish in the game your containment didn't sometimes glitch. I've been hearing about this problem. This is actually the first game I've had where it does glitch, which is, it's super unfortunate, you know, because you grind for something that, for what? I mean, you can't, there's no pro of it if your game glitches like that. But I'm hoping with Season three's release they fix that and maybe fix some stability in the game, which would be super nice. It'd be like a dream come true, if you ask me. <laughs> Are they doing the contract? Uh, looks like they just started it. Okay. Let's go ahead and triple pack. Boom. Alright, now we're triple packed up in legendary. We can refill our fuel. Mm, we have 8k. Okay. Where is the buy station? There's one right here. Yeah, I'm going to recommend going to the new one first. The reason is, is because more than likely you're going to have to do this about three times before you can get all the schematics, unless you're super lucky and get them all in your first run. But you are almost at a 90% chance every single game to pull a VR-11 Wonder Weapon case out of the new Dark Aether, which is what we're going to use next game if we can pull one out this game. Um... We're going to use it next game to complete the new Dark Aether, or the old Dark Aether. And regardless if we don't pull it out, then we're just going to go back in and get it again. But either way, we're going to be jumping over to the old Dark Aether after that with the VR-11 Wonder Weapon case. But trust me, you get them very, very simple. We're more than likely going to get one in there. I also need to pick up some perks. Which we definitely need. Where is the closest Wonder Fizz? Over here. We can make our way over to it. It's not a biggie. I really only need Deadshot. And then we'll be good. We don't need a whole bunch of perks. Especially not on this run. So I think that's all we'll really do. Uh, but we'll see. You never know. You really never know, man. Okay, what's in here? Refined Ethereum Crystal, nice. I will take it, okay. Give me Deadshot. There we go. They're charging 2k, it's a visual bug. It's still saying friggin' 1400, but it's charging two grand. Okay. They're coming close to the end. Then we're going to hit this, and then we can actually dip. We don't need to be here anymore. Which, we've been in here just a little bit over 10 minutes. Maybe. No, we haven't even been in the Tier 3 zone for 10 minutes. We've been in this game for a little over 10 minutes. Which, I understand, you know? I spawned in with 5,000 Essence and stuff like that. But, trust me, it's literally just one more contract. So what, you're in the game 15 minutes before you go to the Dark Aether? there's no shorter time than that unless you can spawn in with everything you need which it's impossible to spawn in with casimirs you can spawn in with one if you extract with it in your previous game but you're not going to be able to spawn in with three or four okay contract's almost over we're going to leave this squad after this Ooh, they got that double points nice we better get that that 10k instead of five Awesome. So we actually might be able to buy another Kazmir. Again, just buy them as much as you can. Don't save your essence if you don't need it. You know what I'm saying? Give me that, and then bang. We'll take the sentry gun, though. Okay, so we have three. Alright, so the glitch, the Kazmir glitch. What the hell are you talking about, Spazo? And how the hell do I do it? I got you. So, spawning into the new Dark Aether or the old Dark Aether, if you have, say, one decoy equipped and one frag equipped, when you spawn in, you're going to have two of both. It's as simple as that. So what you do 
is I'm not going to do it with just this one. I'm going to show you actually how to do it too. So you have two, right? I have two equipped. You click drop. So now you have one and one on the ground and then you stow the one on the ground. Then you have one equipped and then you go ahead and go spawn in. That is it's as simple as how you do it. So I'm going to leave the squad. We're going to go spawn into the elder where you have to spawn in to get the schematics. And I will see you guys whenever we get there. So without further ado, let's hop in this dark ether, boys. I'll see you guys there. All right, we just spawned in. We're going to turn around and go straight for this bounty. See, we are at 263 containment. Max is only 100. Now you kind of understand why I was saying it was glitching out the containment level of the game. Now, 9 times out of 10, you're not going to need to be in here for the entire 15 minutes. But even though if you think you might take a little bit longer, just try and go as fast as you can. Because I know from experience that you can lose track of time and all of a sudden you're dying from the storm. And the thing about the dark ether is there's no ether storm. It spawns on you and you're taking damage. So you really need to be sure you get out before that timer runs down. Or if like say you have two out of the three contracts done and the timer's about to be zero... Xville, do it again. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like the old Dark Ether where you got to complete all three to get all three schematics. No, you can just complete the bounty in Xville three games in a row and get all three schematics. Three games in a row. It's that simple. So, with our Jug Streak, we could use the Flamethrower, but I'm going to save the fuel right now. I'm not going to use it. So, we're going to get this guy to kind of chase us up along this hillside right up here. You can kind of pay attention to your attack map and the. Uh, icon of the bounty. I'm just going to throw this jug over here so I can keep track of it so we don't lose it. That is the most important thing. Take some of these zombies down. The Hoger 556 isn't the best weapon to use in the Dark Ether. I just brought it in. Okay, so let's eat their shroud real quick, even though he's lasering. Now we're just going to hold the trigger down on him. He's going to turn around. He's going to hit us, but we're just going to back up with him and just spray him. Don't worry about the zombies. If they're in front of you hitting you, just crouch and still aim up at them and you'll kill the zombies. It's not that big of a deal. It goes pretty quick and then the zombies will die. Of course, not every single one of them, but a majority of them will. Uh, you can use the remainder of your jug streak to continue shooting him. Let's go ahead and open this up. There's the blood burner keys. Blood burner schematic. That's all we need. We actually should just grab that stamina up can. <laughs> Why not, you know? Okay. So there's that schematic. Now, Outlast Contract. Outlast Contract is located on top of this building right up here. Uh, it doesn't really got a name. It's this building. <laughs> Pretty much, all right? Okay. Let's head up top. So you're just going to want to come through that door we just went through and just head up the stairwell. Zombies will chase you, but not many are going to follow you. So if you're like, holy shit, there's a hundred zombies chasing me. I better kill them off before I go in here. You don't have to. They're not all going to chase you. Some of them will, but not all of them. And you're definitely not going to go down just from grabbing that contract. Um, so I recommend just booking it up the flight of stairs. Now, this one can be a little tricky. This outlast can be pretty tricky. Uh, it's not the easiest one in the world. But it's not that bad whenever you kind of get the strat down. So we're going to go ahead and equip the sentry gun. You do not need one. I'm going to throw it down. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, we might get in total five zombie kills from it. Which is not that good. Um, but really, it's just a massive train in here. You just want to try not take as much damage as you can. If you have to, run outside of the building and just kind of do a train around and run back in. Uh, listen, this is a very important tip. You gain faster than you lose. On the Outlast contract, you gain percentage faster than you lose it. Okay? So don't be afraid to run out of the zone for a second and kind of recoup. It's not a big deal. Um, and if you have a little bit of fuel, see we just went down right there. If you have a little bit of fuel, just pop your flamethrower and take down the horde. It's not that big of a deal as well. You want to make sure you have a few self-revives. Uh, I always come in here with a few, no matter if I'm doing schematics if i'm going for acquisitions or if i'm just coming to mess around i'm using a ton of self revives because simply enough solo is hard it's challenging it's not the easiest thing in the world yeah you might have a few games where you don't die at all and think you're a god but there will be a time that you make that one wrong decision and you go down so just taking a few self revives it's not that big of a deal use the flamethrower if you have it if not just keep training 
um, right outside of the building. You're going to run out of fuel with the flamethrower. You can refuel it in here. It's definitely not a big deal. There's a double points. But you don't need it for the next contract. You don't need the fuel. You don't need any sort of gun but your Kazmiers. There's another Kazmier on the ground right there. Holy crap. We just ether shrouded and we still went down. That is crazy. Give me this Kazmier. Did I pick it up? I did. Nice. Okay. Open this up. There's the VR-11 plans and the VR-11 case. Very, very important. Okay. Next. Next contract is on top of the very highest point of the mall. Okay. This contract is going to be located way the heck up there at that very, very peak. Okay. Right up top. Now, how I get up there, there's plenty of ways you can get up there, but what I like to do is just run down this main road, and then right when we get up to this kind of garage, we're going to just hook a left, all right? So we're, we're about to be at that corner. Now, this is like a big ether nest. <laughs> if you're just trying to do the schematics, man, don't, don't waste your time on it, okay? It's not going to give you good stuff that you want. <laughs> it's just not. All right, so we're going to run up to the very top level of this uh, garage. We're going to run this way. We're going to hook a left up here, jump up this side. Uh, you can run inside. I like to run on the edge. It really doesn't matter. We're going to hop up here. Now, if you have a scorcher, you can just scorch her up top here. But if you don't, then you're going to have to do that little run. Or there's a few other ways, but I, I just don't simply do them. I think this is the best way. And then here's the bunny. All right, make sure you have two Casimirs equipped right now. We're gonna parachute down to the first one. Now, when it comes to the extractors, I try and throw my Casimirs as close to the rocket as possible. Um, sometimes you might make a bad throw, you might misjudge the distance, but it's not a big deal as long as it's somewhat near it, because it's going to help take down all the zombies that are close by and basically make it to where you can do it easily, okay? We just equipped another Casimir. We're going to throw this one right here. Be careful. Sometimes they disappear in those purple sharded rocks. There we go. Second one's done. Now we just head to this last and final one, which is right over here. We're going to chuck this one. Try and get it on the other side of the rocket right here because that's kind of where you do it. Or you can sit right here and do it. We'll just try and get it as close to there as possible. And there's the third one done. We can go ahead and equip these other two that we have. We can just throw one at the reward rift so we don't take damage. Be careful because a lot of zombies spawn after you do this contract. Two legendaries, golden armor plate, and then another blood burner. So we didn't get the mags of holding. But you pretty much just constantly do that little run and you will get them both. Um, or all three of them. There's a few extraction points. I like to take the one over here on the hill. But there is one down here in this police station building right next to the mall that you can use. But I, I kind of just like to take this one. If you're in a game or you're in here and you're like, man, I need some fuel. You can come to this ammo restock right here. There's multiple more ones, but I just simply just don't know the locations. Uh, I just come to that one if I need it. But yes, that is how you're going to get your fuel back if you want to get more. If you decide to bring in the flamethrower, you don't have to. If you're comfortable with something and you know it's going to be good, use it. It's not a big deal. Um, I've done plenty of games, plenty of videos where we do this with no guns. It is not that big of a deal. You do not need you know, the crazy stuff that you might think you need. This is more for the beginners to come in prepared. So as you guys can see, the X fills right there. All right, so next game we're going to spawn in, and we're going to spawn in with our VR-11 and uh, some of our other gear. So refined crystal, stuff like that, golden plates. But I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, so this is game two. Now this is going to be the game that we go to the old Dark Aether for the Aether Blade, Dog Bone, and Golden Armor Plate schematics. Now we spawned in with the VR-11 that we got from the new Dark Aether. Now keep in mind, if you don't get a VR-11 on... You know, say your first run, you get all the schematics, right? And you don't get a VR-11 Wonder Weapon case. It's all good. Just do it again. And plus, if you get the VR-11 Wonder Weapon, or the VR-11 schematic, you're going to have it on ready to go in your next game. So you can really do these back-to-back -back if you have two Elder Sigils. And if you get lucky <laughs> in the new one. But please do the new one first. Um, we can actually stop real quick and go ahead and equip all the stuff I brought in. Now, you only need to pack the VR-11 to pack one. The only reason I say pack it to pack one is because it has to be pack-a-punch for it to heal escorts. 
for it to heal vehicles. It has to be packed at least once. It doesn't have to be twice. It doesn't have to be three times. So we're only going to do pack two. Now we need Casimirs, a shit ton of Casimirs, and some perks. We don't need every perk in the game, but we definitely need Speed Cola, Jug, Quick Revive, Stamina, basically that, maybe PhD, right? So we definitely need to do some contracts. We need to farm a little bit of contracts. But the VR-11 is the strongest wonder weapon in the game. And it will literally has the opportunity to two to three shot a mega abomination if you hit him in the right spots. Right? So we're going to grind some contracts. Hopefully our containment don't glitch out this game. It shouldn't take us too, too long to do what we got to do. Um, I'm pretty, pretty pretty feeling good i don't even know what i'm trying to say here but i'm feeling good i think we'll definitely be able to get something done this game which is the goal um to go to the old dark ether and complete it all uh now there it is guaranteed there you're getting every schematic as long as you complete all three uh contracts so you just can't complete two of them and then think in your next game, you're just going to complete two of them and get the last schematic. No, you have to complete all three in one single game for you to be able to get all three. So no matter what, you got to complete the escort contract. Now, you can do it with the squad. A lot of people will help you use this video's comment section to get help. Or you can do it solo. Me personally, I think it's pretty easy solo once you get like the strategy down. It might take, you know, a little longer if you've never done it before or if you're a beginner. But overall, I think it's pretty simple. We're going to take a hit here. We definitely need speed cola. The reload is super slow on the VR-11. Alright. What's in here? So, revive, elemental pop. Okay. Alright, we have 11k. What other contracts can we do? We want to just target bounties, outlasts, and cargoes. That is what we want to target this game. We don't really want to do anything else. Uh, we can do some perks. We don't need to triple pack. We need quite a few Casimirs. I would recommend six if you can. Six is a pretty good number uh, when it comes to the Casimirs, which it's not that hard to get six. You don't got to buy all six. You know, you get a lot dropped from Megas. You get a lot dropped from Manglers. Just a whole bunch of stuff, man. You, they don't even have to be bounties. They can be literally just a random strolling creature. And you can do it. Which is the good thing. Yes, it might be a little bit challenging to get it. Um, but completing contracts is never going to hurt you. Because you're just going to get more and more rewards as you keep going. What are we going to have to take down? A mimic. This will be interesting. Where is he? Right over here. It's not far. And the VR-11, one of the biggest pros as well with its damage is it is the fastest gun to hold while running. There's a self-revive. That'll save me from buying them. Definitely loot, man. Loot while you can. Don't try and uh, <laughs> beat the system. Just take your time. It's not too, too grueling, man. It's a pretty chill grind. It's not that bad. Once you kind of get everything down, you'll you'll be perfectly fine. On the Mimics, you really want to try and hit critical shots on them. That's going to be the best. We need to reload. Definitely need to buy Speed Cola after this. Oh my gosh. That's one thing with this VR-11. You really got to wait till the animation's done. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I was throwing on a plate in the mix of him shooting. It's alright, it's not a big deal. There we go. Okay, what did we get? Another self-revive that makes up for what we just lost. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and see if I can meet up with this squad down here doing this escort. See if I can join them. Because that'll be a free little 5k real quick. That'll help me a ton. Plus, I got a VR-11. All I got to do is shoot it. And they'll be like, oh, I didn't know he was chill like that. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Maybe they'll let me join. Maybe they won't. But either way, we can just go grab that bounty if we want. But the goal is to get Essence as fast as possible. Let me join up, boys. 
Let me join up, boys. There we go. Cool. Yeah, we're going to start buying our perks very shortly. We'll get them, man. Right now, we're just kind of focused on these contracts. Okay. A lot of zombies spawning in right there. You can throw a decoy. That'll help a little bit. The one thing with the VR-11 is it's not really the best zombie killer. All you are is turning zombies. I mean, it's a great boss killer, but it's just not that zombie killer that you so desperately want. But trust me, it's worth it, man. The pros outbeat the cons so much. There you go, yeah. I was going to say that should eject. There we go. That's done. Another self revive. Okay. What other contracts are there? Let's start running these very quickly. No bounties. They picked that up. We have 25k. We're doing good so far. We're not going to spend too, too much on perks. Uh, we're just kind of going to prey on some bounties right now. Unless something else spawns in that catches our eye. But we haven't been in this game for long, man. We're doing pretty solid. We are. Okay. Still just a spore. The one thing with the VR-11 is it's not the best for spores. Keep that in mind when you're using it as well. You're not going to be destroying spores like crazy. Really need to pick up uh, Speed Cola here. I'm going to throw a decoy. Get some of these zombies off me. Okay, let's get Jug, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, and PhD. We don't need stamina. We can do without stamina. As long as we pay attention, we'll be fine. Uh, there's an Outlast. I'm sure that guy's going to grab it, though. That is kind of the unfortunate part. Teammate, grab the bounty! Hit that real quick. I don't know what our teammate's doing. Uh, 380 meters. Might be able to get to it. Oh, cargo. I'll take that. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy and chill. Cargo is the easiest contract in the game. Yeah, I'm hoping in the near future they make a tier 4 zone and, like, make the contract rewards, like, 10k. But, like, it is hard to play in there. Like, it is not easy. Limit the amount of people that play in there, and so it's worth the 10k, and it just don't feel easy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody get in. Chop, chop. Uh, okay, I was wondering where the heck teammate was. I started looking around, see if he was already in there. Uh, so we have the perks we need. We have pack level. We have everything. All we need now is Kazmir. So 25k is going to give us 5, which will give us 6 upon spawning in. So actually, we're pretty much ready to go already, which is the crazy thing, right? Mind-blowing how fast you can just get set up if you spawn in with the correct items. But again, not everybody's going to have those. I'm just trying to get a gist of what to do in the Dark Aether. I don't want to waste your time watching this video. There is just a little bit of a setup process that we can't avoid upon spawning in. I am going to go to the buy station. Okay. Should be good. We have a few self revives. I'll probably... I'll, I'm going to leave this squad. I'm not going to do it with the team. That just kind of defeats the purpose of soloing it. Okay, so we're going to stow these. Let me just leave this team. Okay, let's... Uh, there's the Kazmir's. Okay, so we have two, four, five. So what we're going to do is, like I showed you guys in the other one, we're going to stow those and then go ahead and equip the one. That's going to give us six. 
So we're going to go to this new dark, or the old dark ether. We're going to throw this elder sigil in. Now be prepared. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm going to act like it's everybody else. This portal, you cannot see it. Visually, it is not there. But physically, it is, right? Sounds weird. You just can't see it, but you can still throw in your sigils. So if you've never been to this portal before, it's going to be a little hard to kind of know. But if you've kind of went into it a lot, you'll kind of know where to go. It's kind of just in this area. Um, just go left and right, uh, and you'll end up finding, like, the elder part. Like, you literally can run through it. There we go. we just seen it. Spend elder sigil to activate rift. Uh, it's just, I don't know what is going on with it in the game, but you just visually can't see it. So, without further ado, let's hop in this old dark ether, and I'll see you guys when we get there. First contract we're going to probably do, uh, let's do the extractors first, so we can use three of our casmers. And then the rest we can just use at the escort contract. Now, the purpose of using the VR-11 is so you can just continuously recharge your escort. But the problem is, is you might not always be able to pick up ammo from the zombies, right? So the Kazmiers are going to help you kill some of the zombies, stop the uh, damage, but also help you survive. So I know it might sound a little crazy, but once you get the strat down, it's easy. It is 100% easy. I just recommend you guys bring in a self-revive or a few, especially if you're a beginner. Again, like I mentioned in the last Dark Ether, there's no nothing wrong with taking your time, man. Not at all. Just because it takes you 45 minutes, it's fine. You know, it doesn't matter. If it takes you three games to just get set up, it's fine. It's not a big deal. You don't have to beat yourself up over it because... You uh, didn't get lucky enough to pull something out of a reward system or, you know, this and that. It's fine. This is really just showing the strats of what to do to get all these schematics. I'm going to pop that real quick. Watch out, zombies. This is not a drill. Mangler, please leave me alone. There we go. I'm going to throw on some plates. Well, we threw on one. It's progress so far for me. I don't ever use plates. Unless I got them golden armor plates on, boy. Alright. There's that third Kazmir. Bada bing, bada boom. Third one's done. Contract's over. This is going to give us, I believe, the dog bone schematic. I believe, yes. The dog bone schematic is right there. Um, okay. Okay, we don't need those self-revives. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot, we're gonna do ex or the escort next. The reason I'm doing the escort next is because the escort does take the longest. So it's best to just get that one kind of out of the way. The only reason I didn't do it first was so I can use the three Casimirs that I need for the, uh, what's it called? For the extractors, so I don't accidentally use them because I, I got problems like that accidentally using things and which can ruin a whole game by the way if you're not too prepared all right so we have a decent amount of vr11 things there's a mega bomb right there we're just kind of just gonna let him be we're gonna start this acv i did not mean to go down right there holy crap that mimic hit me when that mega bomb, if he chases us and he lasers, one shot to the mouth, boys. We do have a jug, so we can use that too. That mimic's dead. Disciples are something you definitely need to worry about. Because um, they can be a pain. I'm just going to throw this right here. And get that out of the way, because I have a feeling that mega's going to chase us. I need to call in this dog bone. I brought it in, I just haven't called it in yet. It just pop back here. Help clear some of these zombies out. There we go, that's done.
Let's pop up here. I'm gonna reload. It's a quicker reload whenever you uh, don't use all your ammo. So do kind of remember that as you're playing and progressing through the game. We need to shoot this. Okay, on this one, we're going to start throwing our Kazmiers. You can usually get away with just one Kazmier per stop, so three is the good number. But I would recommend bringing in maybe a few more, because on the last one is the longest one. So that's the one where it's like, you either complete it or you are failing it and punching a hole through your monitor. The last one is brutal. These ones aren't too, too bad. Um, you just kind of got to stay up with what you got going on. Don't let the zombies uh, rule over you. You rule over the zombies. I like to throw it kind of off that wall right there. And we went down, which is kind of unfortunate. We have our dog. He would spawn in and get me, but I think he's fighting zombies and stuff. Try and pick up some ammo, too. We can shoot that. We can hop up here. Eat their shroud real quick. Let that kind of do its thing. Throw our ether blade. Mimic's dead. Now when it comes to doing this and getting the elder sigils, more than likely you're going to have to run through regular sigils for a little bit, so you're going to get all these good acquisitions. Um, unless you literally get both Elder Sigils through the new Dark Aether, which you can, it's possible, it happens. Um, but yeah, pretty much. So as you can see, all these zombies, Mega Abomination, everything is going to be coming on this one. So it's very important that you're ready. We have two Casimirs for this. We have a decent amount of VR-11 ammo. I'm not going to shoot it till we get all the way up there and stop, even though there's a lot of zombies behind me. It's just foolish. There we go. Hit that. Let's throw this right there. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll hop up on this rooftop because it'll allow you to shoot the escort without being down there. Which makes it easier. Zombies will come up here, but it's not that big of a deal. You definitely got a decent amount of time. Now, after you see that blast, the contract's not over. Okay, don't think it's over because it's, it's far from over. You still got to let that little rocket in the back explode off of there. Which will then complete the contract. As you can see, we are doing, or dealing, or they are dealing a ton of damage to the vehicle. Throw that real quick. Pop that. Okay. Give me this. Give me the second schematic. Now we're going to go do the Outlast contract, which will then and finally give us the third schematic, which will be the Ether Blade. So no matter what order you do, you're always going to get the exact order of schematics. So first it's Dog Bone, second it's Golden Armor Plates, and then fine and, or, uh, third and last is the Ether Blade. So no matter if you spawn in and do the escort right away, you're going to get the dog bone. If you spawn in and do the outlast right away, you're going to get the dog bone. If you spawn in and do ether extractors outlast, you're going to get the dog bone for ether extractors and golden armor plates for the outlast. And then ether blade would be the escort. So do keep that in mind. That's kind of, again, why I say make sure you come in prepared so you have enough items I would even recommend coming in with like eight Casimirs so you can throw a few while you're in here because they help. You know what I mean? Luckily me, I have two decoys, which is going to help me a ton while I'm in here because there's just so many zombie spawns. And if you only spawn in with the VR-11, you might have some trouble because you ain't really killing zombies. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, you're going to kill some, but you would be way better off with a Casimir or whatnot. You know what I mean? So just take the time again and just try and get a few. It's definitely easy. It's not hard to get, you know, eight Casimirs. It might seem like a lot, but a few contracts into your game, spawn in with some decent stuff, and you can do it. So, yeah, if it takes you two games to set up, that's perfectly fine, man. First game, just go for a rare item. Second game, go for the Casimirs and do your schematics. It's pretty simple. I mean, it can be hard, you know, but 
it, it's definitely not as bad as you might think if you haven't done them before. I think my dog died during that escort. I'm not going to lie. Pop up here. Throw on a plate. Hit this real quick. Run around. Disciple. There we go. Contract completed. Now keep in mind that all zombies are going to die upon the blast. So be ready for the stragglers or the the just chill, hang around, and run around zombies. And there we go. We got the ether blade schematic. So that's all three in this game and then the other ones in last game. Obviously, we didn't get the mags of holding in last game, but we just hop in there again and keep doing that same strat till we get it. But that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, not forget to leave a like. It helps me a ton. Um, even if you didn't need the schematics and you just enjoyed watching the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace, fellas.